It's Melvin7 here bringing you episode 5 of my series Who Performs Best, BPL Striker Edition. If you do not know how this series works then there will be a description and an annotation on screen to a video explaining exactly how the series does work. In this episode it's game 5 of the last 16 of the BPL Striker Edition and it is Negredo vs Hernandez. So without further ado let's just get into the games and I'll review them at the end as always. Okay, so that ended as a 3-2 loss, a um, bit disappointed but you know I think he did deserve the win. As you can see Negredo and Hernandez's ratings were both 8.1 so this makes it interesting going into game 2 and game 3 as they are dead even. Uh, the match facts, I had 6 shots, 6 on target, he had 13, 10 on target so yeah he did deserve to win but anyway let's just get on to game 2. Okay, so I won that 3-2. Uh, I did think I deserved the win. Um, I had a shitload of chances, a lot of shots. I was unlucky not to score more, in my opinion. Anyway, the match ratings. Negredo got 7.2 and Hernandez 8.3. So that gives Hernandez a big lead going into Game 3. So it'll make things interesting to see if Negredo can pull it back. 
He had seven shots, five on target. I had 26 shots and 18 on target. So yeah, I think I did definitely deserve the win. But anyway, going on to game three now. Okay, so that ended in a 2-1 loss. Uh, I probably did deserve to lose. Not a lot happened throughout that game. Like There was a few shots, but most of them were deflected. It was a very, very dull game. Glad it's finished. Anyway, the match ratings. Negredo got 6.6 .6 and Hernandez 6.5. So that does make it pretty clear to see who's went through, but I'll do the review at the end, as always. I had 9 shots, 5 on target, he had 15 and 9 on target, but as I say, a lot of them were deflections, it was a pretty boring game, but anyway, let's just head straight into the review. Okay, um, back for the review, uh, I, as I said before, I think it's fairly obvious who's went through, but I'll do it as always. In game 1, Negredo got 8.1 and Hernandez got 8.1. In game 2, Negredo got 7.2, Hernandez 8.3. In game 3, Negrado got 6.6, .6, Hernandez got 6.5. So, on average, Negrado got 7.3 and Hernandez 7.63. So that does mean that for this game, Hernandez is the victor. Uh, next game will be Remy versus Lukaku. So that should be pretty good because one is pacey and one is strong. So we'll see which is really more important in FIFA 14 but anyway if you have enjoyed then please hit that like button it really does help subscribe for at least five videos of FIFA 14 a week and peace